Hello viewers, you're welcome again to Cradle to Harvard online class. Today, it's time for basic technology and this class is going to cover for GSS 2 and GSS 3. It's a famous topic, airflow, hydraulic and pneumatic machines. And your instructor for today's class is me, Mr. Tony. All right. Lesson objective, at the end of this lesson, you students should be able to define airflow to examples of hydraulic and pneumatic, and then three, advantages and disadvantages of hydraulic and pneumatic, and then you should be able to know uses of hydraulic and pneumatic machines. Definition. Airflow system refers to the air in motion. Flow is an exclusive property of all fluids, which includes liquid and gas. In other words, when an air is in motion, we refer it to wind. Okay? We're going to be looking at mechanical properties of air. The mechanical properties of air include weight, atmospheric pressure and relationship between pressure, temperature and speed. Now, with this lesson, we're going to be looking at weight alone. You do the rest. On this weight, we all know that you cannot see air with your physical eyes, but then you can feel it. But experiment shows that when you inflate a balloon with air, it carries weight. The balloon's original weight increases. And that is why when you deflate the balloon, you see it moves. Another thing I would like you to know is this. Without air, it is impossible for the balloon to carry the weight. Applications of airflow include flying of kites, propelling of airplanes, operation of windmills. Before we continue, I would just like to show you something. Now, the picture I have here is a picture of an airplane. Every object that is suspended or moves in air has four forces applying on it. Two vertical and two horizontal forces. First, we'll consider the vertical forces. The first on this is the lift. The second on this is the gravity. Then for the vertical forces. We have the thrusts and the the force and the drag. Two horizontal forces and two vertical forces. Okay. Now return to the slide. The instrument used in measuring air pressure is called a barometer. Next will be considering fluid systems. Fluid power systems are systems that permit gas and liquid to transmit power over long distances. Now, two of these instruments include the pneumatic and the hydraulic. And we say if gas is the fluid, it is called pneumatic. If liquid is the fluid, it is called hydraulic. Now, these are just examples of hydraulic and pneumatic drives. As you can see here, a car suspended 
with a hydraulic jack. And over here is a hand pump for bicycles. You get me other examples in your assignment. All right, general operations of hydraulic and pneumatic devices. First, used for lifting, used for pushing, and used for pulling. Here is a tractor, and here is a lift. All right, hydraulic operation system. I'm just going to give a very brief explanation on this. Now, the hydraulic, the hydraulic operation system works in such a way that the fluid in it is compressed. And the compression of this fluid has two vacuums. The smaller one, which is tinier, and then the larger vacuum, which is the cylinder. Now, the push of this rod down this cylinder will force the fluid to push the rod on the other cylinder, which is the bigger one. This puts the force and this lifts the weight. An example of such is a hydraulic jack lifting a car. Pneumatic operation system. Now, this system is just a little animation to show how the pneumatic operation system works. Pneumatic machines need five basic components to make them store, control, move, and use compressed air. The first is the compressor. It keeps the air. The second is the reservoir for storing the air. The third is the valve. Now, the function of the valve is to open or close for the valve for the air to move. The fourth is the circuit of pipes. This is just the channel for the air to move through. And then the fifth here is the actuator or motor. And we see an earth here. This is just an example of a load that can be lifted via the pneumatic system. Advantages of a hydraulic system. First, they can deliver at high power, and that is why car jacks are still recommended for hydraulic system. High accuracy in operation. We see this example with tractors. They can be used for high force transmitting applications regardless of speed changes. Finally, they are less expensive to run. Advantages and disadvantages of pneumatic devices. One of the advantages you see here is that they are inexpensive. You can testify to me, you can testify with me with regards to hand pumps. They are clean due to the use of air. They, use, they are safe and easy to operate. Some of the disadvantages include they lack accuracy in terms of control. They are sensitive to vibrations, and then they are loud and noisy in their operation. Assignments. Number one, identify three disadvantages of hydraulic system. Two, list two ways of maintaining hydraulic and pneumatic systems. In other words, Identify two ways we can maintain hydraulic and pneumatic devices. Mention three examples of hydraulic and pneumatic devices each. Three advantages, three disadvantages. I trust you had a nice time. I'll see you in our next class.